as systems are getting more and more complex, having uh, faster and faster computers will actually help us fundamentally change the way we live. There's massive growth of data in, uh, in, in today's world and uh, so much data generated in the biological domain and also in the financial market. So we need to be able to process these data as soon as possible. A method of improving the computational speed is to move into the quantum domain from uh, classical transistors. Quantum devices increase the speed and decrease the power consumption of the computer. One of the problems that, uh, that prevents us from building practical quantum devices is a process called decoherence. Every object that you see around you is continuously interacting with the environment. Eventually, given some time, that quantum system will also interact with the environment, which is what we are trying to prevent here. We can control decoherence in quantum systems. We take into consideration the model of the environment and build that right into the quantum system. As you can see from the graph, the decohering system and the non-decohering system behave exactly the same, proving that decoherence does not play a major role when this strategy is applied to the quantum systems. So once we are able to implement this decoherence strategy to real quantum systems, then we can make sure that the quantum computing will actually take the next leap toward becoming a reality. That's most definitely going to revolutionize the computing world. Uh, so as the computers keep getting faster and faster, and also the system that we interact with in our day-to-day -day lives keeps getting more and more complex. This really increases the opportunities for scientists and researchers to develop um, ideas that can fundamentally transform the way we live for the better.